A bit of a nerdier one this week. I'm even wearing my glasses for most of the episode because everybody knows that wearing glasses makes you a nerd. And this week, I decided to set myself a seriously complicated challenge. I've created the ultimate smart home system to scare off any intruder. Mr. Saki has been released. Please exit the premises immediately. I'm going to tell you how I did it along the way so that you too can get her to call your burglars a wanker. Because that's mature. <laughs> There's a wanker in the dining room. Get down there and stove his head in. Never gets old. Never will. <laughs> Welcome home. Unless you are a burglar, in which case you have 10 seconds to find my button, and your wife tells me you're not very good at that. Insulting your burglar's sexual prowess is absolutely key, and I've achieved this using a door sensor from Toya Smart Life, which is connected to a Zigbee hub, and this simply starts an Amazon routine that plays the welcome message. I should probably point out that this welcome message plays every time the door is opened. This means if I answer the door to a delivery driver, the situation kind of looks like this. Oh, wait. Welcome home. Unless you are a burglar, in which case you have 10 seconds to find my button, and your wife tells me you're not very good at that. Sorry about that. I've kind of run out of time for this week because this is a big project and you're about to see a lot of very cool things being implemented to scare the hell out of burglars. But this particular thing I would probably resolve in future by having a tablet on the wall that would have Tasker installed on it and just a recorded message from she that should not be named so that she could play out of the tablet speaker later on. I shall achieve that later on. <laughs> Star Trek noises! This is a Toya Smart Life Zigbee Hub from a company called Wooks, but it's got a few surprises built in. For one thing, it's got a built-in siren, and the siren itself is utterly hilarious. It's also reasonably loud, but I want something that is going to blow the burglar's head off. Holy shit, stop! This is a siren from a completely different company called Ajax. This, however, is completely compatible with this because they both share the same underlying Toya Smart Life platform. That means that I can use this to make the Star Trek noises and tell this to trigger this to also make the horrible high-pitched beeping noises that bursts people's eardrums. It wouldn't be much of a smart home project if I just burst the burglar's eardrums, so we're now going to scare the crap out of him using various different methods. The first one is a very traditional method. I have a Zigbee light strip across the front of my house, and this thing is triggered by a Toya Smart Life Zigbee motion sensor, which is under my porch, out of the way of the rain because it's not actually meant for outdoors. The burglar's gonna go, I don't understand what the hell that is. Did the owner turn that on or was that triggered by a motion sensor? Because that is not a traditional security light. Getting a light to turn on from a motion sensor is easy. Getting it to go red once the burglar alarm goes off was not easy. Here's Paul from the past to explain. So we've got a fairly major breakthrough because I was struggling to get the Vens Tech gateway to actually trigger anything outside of its own ecosystem. So what I did was, I put this thing, the horrible noisy siren, inside its ecosystem, but it is able to be detected by Toya Smart Life to then trigger other things. The only time this thing is gonna go off is when there's an alarm, so that means I can create a routine that says, if this thing goes off, make things happen. Check this out. Move. This siren's about to go off because I've triggered the alarm. Watch what happens up here. It goes red! <laughs> you might think this was phase one of my plan. It wasn't. I'm telling you things out of sequence because I wanted to build the video up so each thing gets more and more exciting until a big explosion of excitement happens. Is that, has that baited you in? Have you been baited? Baited by the master? 
I'm where I'm master, but... I'm starting to do that joke every week. It's because it's funny. And now, a word from our sponsors. Reginald, is that the new Samsung Galaxy S22? But how have you afforded that on your meager salary? Everybody knows that you work for peanuts emptying tiny toilets for rodents at the gerbil factory. Real question is how are you going to keep it all in one piece when you're an imbecilic buffoon? Reginald, I'm talking to you. You need a Taurus case. Taurus patented X-Shock technology protects each corner of the phone during a fall. Reginald and I carried out rigorous testing on Taurus's strongest guardian case to see if the phone would survive. Watch how the phone's protective layer keeps the phone from becoming damaged. And again. 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 And again! And again! And again! Reginald! This isn't a Samsung Galaxy S22! This is something that Taurus have sent you to conduct this advertisement! Reginald, we have further testing to do. With its non-slip coating and a pocket-friendly design, these cases add very little extra bulk to your phone, and with multiple styles to choose from, you can ensure the ladies will come flocking. With wireless charging and NFC completely unimpaired, these polycarbonate cases will take longer to go yellow than almost any other phone on the market. If you're looking for a new phone case to keep your Samsung Galaxy S22 secure, then look no further. Taurus have got you covered. Check the links in the description now to pick up your phone case today. And now, back to our main feature. So that was not phase one of my plan. Phase one of my plan was actually more of a smart home thing. What I wanted to do was have a motion sensor in the upstairs hallway that when we get up in the night to go to the toilet, would turn the lights on dim so it doesn't blind us. But if we get up during the day and wander through the hallways, the lights will automatically come on bright but only if it's dark outside. So I created a routine that does exactly that. That was phase one. What's the next phase of the plan, Paul, from the past? The next phase is going to be to make them go red when an alarm is triggered. We've already run into a bit of a problem in that Nisha just can't keep her fingers off this thing and that ruins everything. Even though the lights come on automatically, she's still like, I got depressed. She's already done it this morning. I only set it up last night. So I've got all these different Toya Smart Life lights coming on and going red. And I've even connected it to my Toya Smart Life motorized curtain in the living room so that the curtains automatically open to show the neighbors there's someone robbing the house. And this is creepy as hell. Imagine you're trying to burgle my house and the curtains are closed and you go in the living room and you start nicking stuff and then the curtains open. Genius. I am very proud of that. It was very simple and straightforward. And if there are lights that are capable of flashing, I've got them flashing on and off red as well. And as you wander around the house, it is absolutely terrifying if you don't live there and you don't already recognize this property. It is a bizarre thing to see when you're going around the rooms and you've got red lights flashing, curtains opening. That's not where it ends. The next phase of this plan was to get non-Toya Smart Life based devices to respond. So Philips Hue, Lifex, or I don't know, my RoboVac. Mr. Saki has been released. Please exit the premises immediately. I repeat, Mr. Saki is on the loose. You are in grave danger. Triggering devices outside of the Toya Smart Life platform is tricky. You will have noticed that I'd got She That Should Not Be Named to actually start speaking to the burglar. That is not an easy thing to do when you only want it to happen when the alarm is set. And this little knobhead is a prissy little princess. She does not like being told what to do by other companies. She's like, I do what I want, go f yourself. Getting Toya Smart Life's ecosystem to tell she that should not be named to start speaking, not easy. And I'm not gonna go into masses of detail on it in this video, but basically what I'm doing is this. I've created a routine in the Toya Smart Life app that says, if this siren is triggered, then switch on a very specific light bulb that I've called Red Alert. 
The red alert bulb is being used as a trigger in If This Then That to start a routine with this company called MK Zents. MK Zents is then sending a request to Amazon to start an Amazon routine, and that routine contains all of my Philips Hue lights, my Lifex lights, uh, my Robovac, and all of the lights are being told, come on, go red, and if possible, flash. Not too complicated. The only drawback to this is actually a benefit. It takes about a minute in total for this to actually start happening. But that means that all of the lights from Toya Smart Life are already on and the burglar's already kind of freaked out by that. And as he's thinking, okay, I can handle that, and he's wondering about the house, all of a sudden, all the other lights start coming on, the Robovac starts, and she starts speaking, and it's like, Video footage of you being an asshole is being uploaded to YouTube as we speak. I thought this was going to be okay. It's not okay. It's, don't rob my house. <laughs> when you put it all together, the routine looks like this. Welcome home. Unless you are a burglar, in which case you have 10 seconds to find my button, and your wife tells me you're not very good at that. The owner of the premises has been called and the police are on their way. Video footage of you being an asshole is being uploaded to YouTube as we speak. Mr. Saki has been released. Please exit the premises immediately. I repeat, Mr. Saki is on the loose. You are in great danger. This whole thing is kicked off by door sensors around the house, connected to doors and windows, motion sensors around the house looking for motion, vibration sensors on the windows, and they are all armed using this tiny little key fob. When you want to disarm it, you just press the other button on the key fob and it all goes to sleep. Absolutely awesome. Because all of those things can also be used in smart home routines too. So when you are home, they can be used to switch on lights and do all that good stuff. When you're not home, they're used to scare the absolute crap out of burglars. There's more to do on this project. I have a way that I can actually use my voice to arm the system and disarm the system, but it won't work the way I've set it up. Okay. I'm leaving. Arming your security system. How cool is that? And then because I'm a massive Trekkie, I've created a routine that will listen for me saying the Star Trek self-destruct sequence code. Okay. Zero, 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 destruct, zero. Disarmed. Welcome home, Captain. Disarming your alarm system now. I could do that very easily, and it's probably the way I will do this when the project is complete. If you're interested in starting this project, you don't need to get this Venstech hub. You might actually find it difficult to find because I think they've stopped selling it. You could use any Toya Zigbee gateway and do exactly the same thing, so you can do this too. There are links in the description to either the products that have been featured today or alternatives if they are no longer available. Before we wrap up then, it's worth mentioning the one potential drawback to this system that I can think of, and that is that the burglar is given a full 30 seconds to burgle your house before any of this routine kicks off. The siren will immediately start after 30 seconds, but that to me is quite a long time. This is because Toya Smart Life think that that's how long a house owner needs to open the door and press this button. I don't need 30 seconds. Toya, if you're watching, for the love of God, just reduce that time down to like 12 seconds. That would be more sensible. I don't, I mean, give us the option. You already have like a, a slider. Just make the slider so I can actually drop it a little bit lower down. That's weird. This stuff is really easy to achieve. And like I said, links are in the description if you're interested in picking this stuff up. 
it's genuinely really good fun to have a good old play with anyway. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, this video would not exist. I would not have had the ability to have spent this whole week doing this. I would be working for a living. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer from PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams, and now my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. I do what I want. Go f yourself. <laughs> oh, good for my hip. Every week I do the same thing. I'm like, I'm 40. I shouldn't keep falling over like that. Stop doing it then. Insulting your burglar. Burglar? I don't know what a burglar is. A rectangular burglar, I guess. <laughs> for you to be able to click the unlock. Mm. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha!